guys, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I think we're screwed. <laughs> it feels like there's something we're missing. Have you tried shooting his eyes? It's his hands. Did you say his hands? I mean, I can't say for sure, but every time he slams his fist, he makes a taken blight. Yeah, we've tried shooting them, nothing happens. I mean, have we tried touching it? D d did she just ask if we've tried touching it? Yep. No, no, she might be onto something. By grabbing the blight? Well, this is basically Oryx's throne world, right? So in- Correct. Uh, thank you. So it makes sense that our weapons wouldn't work against him. It does? Yeah, well, I think. I mean, I'd say it's worth a shot, right? Hey, John, can you bait out his... Guardian down. That works. Oh, I'll do it. What? No, you, you stay. I'll do it. Uh, are you sure? I feel bad. How did you get there so fast? I'm speed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was the plan. All right, Guardian. Get up. Did it work? Last thing I saw was... Is that... Get up! I died? Oh my, how'd you get pulled in? Did you not see her get folded by that knight? Oh, yeah, are, are you okay? Oh, I'm alright, are you? Oh, a little more cel-shaded than normal, but other than that... So, uh, what now? I don't know, I... Honestly, I didn't think we'd get this far. You got any ideas? No! <sighs> um... Have we met yet? Oh, uh... This ray of sunshine is Rosie. Who's this bitch boy? Oh my god. Me? Not you, bird. I'm talking to Tinkerbell. What did I do? Existed in my presence. You're inferior. Inferior? To the Easter Bunny? Okay, no one pop a gasket. I can end you. Can you not? Just once? You know you're my ghost, remember? You're my guardian. That was kinda hot. Huh? Enough! Who the fuck is this guy? Look, I know you probably have a lot of questions. Are we dead dead? Honestly? Maybe. Hey, what? where are we? This is the Ascendant Plane. Oh, thank god. <laughs> like I said, I know you have a lot of questions. Are we stuck here? Shut the fuck up! Are all ghosts like that? No. The Taken King can wait. Look, I don't know how you both got here, but while I have you, I need you to go to Europa. What's on Europa? It's Stasis, an ancient power closely linked to the darkness. If you survive what's coming, the light alone won't be enough. What's coming? The Witness, and the entirety of the Black Fleet. I can take him. No, no, you can't. Yes, I can. I, I promise, you, you can't. Where they at? Huh? <sighs> what? Where they at? I think this is a little over our pay grade. Hey, what was your name again? You can call me The Gardener. I mean, are you guys okay with this? I don't think we have much of a choice. Oh, one last thing. What's up? The Fallen House of Salvation are there. They may give you some trouble. Nah, we can handle it. Damn right! Alright, Europa it is. Okay guys, bear with me here. I'm coming off of a bit of a cold, so if I sound different, that's why. In today's video, my girlfriend and I are going to be attempting a Beyond Light Soul Link. Now, you're probably wondering what I mean by that. Well, if you've ever seen one of my Nuzlocke videos, this is going to be similar, except there's a catch. This is going to be a two-player Nuzlocke of the Beyond Light campaign. So if you remember, the base destiny Nuzlocke rules are as follows. You have six hours to get as many weapons as you can on a fresh character. You then play through one of the campaigns on Legendary, and every time you die, you have to dismantle the weapons you have equipped at the point of death. And if you run out of weapons, then it's game over. Now obviously there's no legendary mode in Beyond Light, and there's also two of us this time. So here are the updated two player rules. Instead of having six hours, we'll each get one weapon from every playable location in Destiny. Each weapon pair is linked, meaning if I get Scathe Lock from Nessus, and she gets a Taipan from Nessus, then if I die holding my Scathe Lock, then we both delete those weapons. There's also a dupes clause, so if one of us gets the same weapon twice, we can go find a new one. But to balance things will only be dismantling the actual weapon we're holding at the point of death, not all three. Alright, I know that was a lot of explaining, and if you're confused, I think it'll make a lot more sense when you see it in action. Also, there are no parts this time. This is the complete adventure, so feel free to grab a snack and enjoy it at your own pace. A whole lot of work went into this video, so without further ado, I truly hope you enjoy the Beyond Light Soul Link. Hey, you. 
finally awake. That's right, before we get into the video, I want to tell you about Manscaped's new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. Included in this package is the brand new Lawnmower 5.0. This electric trimmer is the best on the market and sports two interchangeable blade heads. The trimmer blade will knock down any level of hair to your desired length. The foil blade then comes in to get that smooth finish if that's what you want. With these blades, you don't have to keep going back and forth to get the right finish, and their skin safe technology minimizes the risk of nicks and cuts. The lawnmower also sports a dual temperature LED light, rechargeable batteries, and it's waterproof. You'll also get yourself the Weed Whacker 2.0, which will help you take care of those nose and ear hairs with ease. It's waterproof, cordless, rechargeable, and features skin safe technology for maximum comfort. But the Crop Soother and the Crop Preserver, however, will keep you feeling and smelling great morning to night. The Crop Soother is an aftershave lotion to keep your delicate areas feeling moisturized and minimize that prickly feeling. The Crop Preserver is straight up ball deodorant, because let's not beat around the bush here, it gets smelly down there. You'll also receive these two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and Manscaped's Hella Comfortable Boxers 2.0. Head over to manscaped.com and use code TOAD for 20% off and free international shipping at checkout. This is the perfect gift for yourself, your boyfriend, or just one of the homies. So take advantage of this offer and a huge thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Now, as many of you have already noticed, this is my Hunter from the Witch Queen Nuzlocke, but you don't have to watch that video to enjoy this one. I, I guess, know. yeah. We both have like animal faces. I guess we do. Before we set out on our adventure, we need to get ourselves a starter weapon from the exotic kiosk. I don't know. I kind of want to go with bad juju. Everyone would tell me to go with lame on arc. Maybe Lumina. Lumina could be good for keeping us alive because it's like a healing weapon. It kind of does fit my aesthetic. I was really torn between bad juju and Lumina, but since there's two of us, I figured Lumina was the better option, but she ended up going with Aegir's Scepter. With our starter weapons selected, Lumina and Aegir's are now linked. But let's not waste any time because we have a lot of planets to hit up. I guess let's just start at the Cosmodrome. Okay. <gasps> we get to see our best friend. When we landed in the Cosmodrome, we checked in with our best friend, Shaw Han. Enough do count. So like, what? What is this? The key to Maeve's stash opens the chest she left inside Shaw Han's camp. Do you have this here? Uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. We then grabbed Maeve's key, which led us to this chest in the spawn area. What? That was <laughs> Okay. Huh. I'll be honest, I didn't even know that this existed. We both got tractor cannons, so this will be an easy pair to remember. Next, we headed over to the EDZ. We found this high value target, which gave me a legendary engram that went back to my postmaster. So we'll come back to that one. Devrim didn't have anything special for us, so I let Lochi decide what to do next. Oh wait, can I not fish? Do I need to get the quest from Hawthorne? This account didn't have the fishing quest, and I needed to check that legendary engram anyway, so I left her to fish while I went to the tower. Wow, I have a very full postmaster. Let me clear this real quick. I also went ahead and cleared my my postmaster just to avoid any confusion going forward. All right, let's see. Be something good. Okay. Axolochi ended up giving up on fishing and instead opted to do a lost sector. <laughs> okay. Are you lost, <laughs> weary traveler? I can't find my mom. <laughs> we got a little lost, but eventually made our way to the end of the lost sector. I got a taipan. Really? This of course means we're leaving the EDZ with an Arvandil and a taipan. And up next on our list of locations is the moon. <laughs> Oh my god, my ghost just looked dead for a second. We arrived on the moon and went to talk to Eris, but she didn't have anything. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, you're going. Are you faster than me? No way. I am. <laughs> I have to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> we did a bit of messing around and found a couple high value targets. Yep. Three, two, one. Nope. No, I got There we go. Nope, I got, I got, I got nothing. We weren't finding any success though, so we went to visit the summoning pits. Not really sure why, but we did. After this, we went on over to the Altar of Sorrows for an easy loot drop. Oh, oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. Can I? Axolochi, uh, Axolochi. I got a pike. I got a pike. Hold on, Toad Smoothie. I mean, Frog Milkshake. Who's Toad Smoothie? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> <gasps> Thank you, Tanzer. You're a real one. <gasps> That guy's getting away! This is getting overwhelming really fast. Oh, wait, no, no. I have tractor cannon. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, how does this work? How the f does this work? It's a shotgun. Oh, this is a shotgun? Oh, fish head. Oh, wait. Oh, I got a sword. Nazredin. She got a Nazredin, and after the Altar of Sorrow, I was awarded with an apostate. Am I the only one who really doesn't like the name of that weapon? <laughs> also, just a quick plug that we have merch now. It's IOT themed, and if you want to check it out, it's down below. Next up on the list is Nessus. With apostate, I now have an actual three weapon loadout. It has two special weapons, but it's something. On Nessus, I'm really looking for another primary to pad out the inventory, because right now, the only one I have is Lumina. I got this legendary that turned into a helmet, and then we completed the public event with nothing to show for it. After hitting the prestigious season rank 
of two, Lochi and I discussed the possibility of playing Trials to get to Mercury. Would we just have to do Trials until we got a weapon? No, we would have to actually get to Mercury. <laughs> That's not happening. Remember the color. I wish they would sneak up here. I really wish they would. I wish they would. They should try it. You know what? They should, they should try, try it. it. They should try, try it. Try it. I shifted to a lost sector while she resorted to fishing. Oh, a legendary fish right away. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> Lochi headed back to the helm and forgot she had found an exotic fish. Shit, I just got an exotic and an incendiary shark. Oh, well, I got a last man standing. Yeah. I got a Senuna 660 S16. Oh, cool. Then we both have sidearms. That's easy to remember. Last man standing is a shotgun. With both of us having weapons from Nessus, we're making pretty good time. But next up in the sequence is the Dreaming City, a place my hunter knows all too well. Oh no, we should go to the blind well. That'd be easy money. Oh lord, she coming. Oh lord, she oh, coming. Lord, she coming. <laughs> That's why I'm an expert speeder. Oh, the blind well is a great source of Dreaming City loot, especially a tier 3 heroic version. Take the shield down! I have an exotic engram, holy shit! What? Oh, no, oh, well, if that turns into a weapon, his shield's down. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I got a Twilight Oath, another sniper? You know what, I'll take it. I ended up getting a Twilight Oath, and Lochi got a Tiger Spite. However, if that exotic that she got decrypts into a weapon, then that's her drop for the Dreaming City. Wait, wait, can't, could you focus it? Would that count? I think I can't. Oh, oh shit. I didn't mean to click on something. No, I got stronghold gauntlets. Fuck. <laughs> it is time for me to unlock your hidden powers. Dende. All right, Tiger Spite it is. With that supreme fumble out of the way, our next location is Eternity. We have a decision to make here. We could either do Dares of Eternity, or we could go to Prophecy. I say we go to Prophecy. Yeah, let's do it. Prophecy and Dares both take place in Eternity, so we decided to come here to get some more interesting loot. At least that was the plan. <gasps> oh, a legend drop. Are you serious? I got a Og Ogma. Oh, an Ogma? I said kill him and get light modes. What does that mean? It means kill him and get light modes. What does that mean? Oh <laughs> I'm my rejecting. god, we have to do you it You are again. such... You suck. In the light or in the dark? A uh, light. Oh wait, wait, a legendary? Well, please don't be a weapon. It's a prime engram. Does that count? It's a light mode. Oh, and that's a legendary. I'm Shit. And I got crap. a memory interdict. Unfortunately, we didn't get any prophecy loot. Also, that prime engram decrypted into arms, which is fine because I definitely needed another heavy. Next up is Neptune. Upon landing on Neptune, I realized that since my warlock has done lightfall, I can get some of the armor on my hunter. I debated not changing my look at all, but I eventually bought these legs, and I think it looks really good. It was perfect. We did a terminal overload, which, after some struggling, Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. You can damage him in this. Oh. <laughs> Alright, finish these wyverns. Never mind. Yoink. Oh, my controller battery's died. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Ooh, I got a basso. Oh, I got an Austin. old sterling. Would you be upset if I were to go turn on the oven and start baking cookies? <laughs> <laughs> so Neomuna was pretty straightforward. We're saving Europa for later, which means our next location is Sava Titan. Yeah, I kind of forgot Titan was a place we could go now, but we do get another weapon here because it's a playable location. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of validation. Why was that so good? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be so upset if I kill myself with Gunpowder Gamble. With what? It's a hunter thing. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Oh! You were wondering what Gunpowder Gamble was? That was Gunpowder Gamble. After swimming around the deep methane oceans, we both got a targeted redaction, which was technically in the helm, but it came from Sloan, so I'm counting it. With Titan down and out of the way, we can move on to Sabbath. Oh, there's a pink fish! There's a beautiful pink fish! Whoa. What? I wanna <laughs> so see it. So pretty. Okay, for real this time, my hunter is all too familiar with this place, so let's make this quick. What does this say here on the wall? This painting. You think I can read that? To keep things simple, I'm pursuing this hard evidence quest. That was until we found a band of Lucian Hive Inquisitors and wiped them out. After once again asserting my dominance over the Lucian Brood, I was awarded with a red herring and Axolochi got a hand in hand. This is pretty great because I'm in dire need of heavy weapons. Another shotgun, <laughs> yay! I'm, I'm a hunter, I get my snipers, you're a titan, you get your shotguns. I think this works. Now, it may seem like the throne world was the last stop. 
but it actually oh. isn't. And that's because we can still go to Venus through the Vault of Glass. After all, the rule is playable locations, not locations on the map. Now I know some of you are already telling me that we could also go to the Dreadnought through King's Fall and the Lighthouse through Trials of Osiris, which I'll keep it a brick with you, that shit is not happening. The Dreadnought, however, was on our list of places to go, but Venus, well, Venus was something else. After trying my best to recreate the classic glitch through the front door strat, we decided to just kill stuff until we both randomly got legendary engrams, something that's a lot easier said than done. Where can I get an engram to drop and it's gonna be out of armor? Oh, 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 oh! Did you get one? Yeah, I got a prime engram. Oh, Praetorian. Yeah, Oh! Oh, <laughs> I got a cloak! <laughs> Ooh, I got another one. I got licks. Oh my god. Are you giving yourself Ooh, challenge? I got a legendary! Ooh. It was a prime engram. Okay. With both of us having a prime engram, we return to the tower to test our luck. Three, two, one. One. Ooh. What did you- <laughs> I got arms. No! <laughs> Bro, that's what you gotta say. That's all good. right. Bro. I'm chasing this orb of power and it won't slow down. I got a legendary. You did? Oh, oh, oh. A fucking helmet! Are oh my god. At this point, we were beyond EP, so we enlisted the help of some guardians from our Discord to help us clear the first encounter. Is this cheating? Maybe. But was it late? Yes. With the help of these wandering guardians, we opened the door with little trouble. Fate bringer, fate bringer, fate bringer. I got a helmet. Fate bringer! Oh shit! <laughs> I was still in denial and a tad jealous, so I continued exploring the vault. Because remember, since my sidearm was a duplicate, then I can get a different weapon. I then found this prey to its revenge. So, a soul for a soul. With this, our prep phase is over and the real story begins. The story starts with Varix literally just minding his own business when Aramis decides to ruin his day because fuck you, you don't have an arm. Luckily for Varix, we've been sent on a mysterious mission to this desolate rock to rediscover an ancient power. This also means the Soul Link rules officially start now, so let's try not to die. I don't like that my fate <laughs> is intertwined with yours. I don't like that my fate is with you. <laughs> Okay, okay, ah! these guys, these guys, let's take out, I'm gonna take out the cannons. Also, remember that we still have a weapon drop for Europa. Ooh, here's another end game. let's see. Oh, I got a crate! Let's you go! Got a crate. Brig, that's a brig, I'm tethering the brig. We reached Varix and cleared the place with no deaths. I also realized they still haven't patched this out of bounds spot. Anyway, Varix pointed us in the direction of Aramis as well as her lieutenants. All right, let's go. Hey, slow down. I okay. Not all of us can keep up, so if you just slow down a little bit. I thought it was like Queen Vex. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, oh. why is there like pyramid shit? So it turns out all those snipers are actually coming in handy because it stops me from putting myself in immediate danger, which we all know I'm prone to. Call. Oh, holy shit! Oh! Holy fuck! Shoot them! Shoot the ball. I don't lie, that was a little scary. That sounds like Oh my god. Why are you up there? I don't know, I just hit him with a noble round. I gave him blessing in the sky. <laughs> Our stealth operation was going pretty well. It was really looking like we couldn't possibly mess this up. But, as they say... Life, uh, finds a way. Today. Oh. <laughs> what, uh, super are you rocking? You're doing hammers, right? I got hammers. Why are you running through there? You being stupid, I wasn't gonna say anything because I was like, no, he doesn't like it when I point out the obvious. No. I'm not gonna mention the bright red lasers <laughs> on the ground. My crate! No, your age or scepter. Wait. Are you kidding me? Fuck! That Aramis. Read me like a book. Any Kel worth their salt knows I'm not smart enough to avoid a well-placed trap. You wasted our exotics? I didn't see the lasers. What do you mean you Oh my god, they It's were really bright. <laughs> it's right? really- No, 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 because I know you've done this before. I a know long you've time done this ago. Oh. <laughs> right. Look they're at all, this No, me. they're all no. gone now because I ate- Okay. Yeah, you ate half of them. I don't want to get rid of them enough. I'm mad listen, at you. Listen, don't be rash. No, you didn't even get to use your H. <laughs> we went back and forth for a bit, but at the end of the day, the rules are the rules, and it is what it is. I cannot believe you right now. <laughs> I can't believe me. I'm. <laughs> I hate myself so. Much. All right, moving along. 
an adventure now. We carefully removed the remaining mines and proceeded into Aramis's hideout, where she murdered this servitor for absolutely no reason. To be fair, he's probably still like fine. <laughs> Yeah, he's fine to walk it off. <laughs> the dude on the left is like, what the f was that for? <laughs> Fun fact, um, the dude on the left of the dude on the left is Atrax, the raid boss from Deep Shot Oh, what? Yeah. It's here that we see exactly what the gardener was referring to, stasis. But in order to get it for ourselves, we have to deal with this Aramis situation. Ah, oh, oh! Oh, this guy uses stasis. Oh, that's my ship. We made our way back to Varix, who handed me my half of the Europa weapons. I got my uh, my Europa Stop. weapon. And with that, we moved on to our next mission. I felt so okay. bad when you were like, does that mean I have to dismantle Crate? And I was like, honey, I wish you had to dismantle Crate. <laughs> Varix wanted us to start getting the satellite dish online, which we did, consider it mutually beneficial. Also, I forgot that the witness straight up gives us the means to harness stasis, almost as if trying to coax us into joining its side. Anyway, the Fallen are now acutely aware of what it is we're trying to do. Is Drifter a hunter? Don't get me started. <laughs> we then investigated the ziggurat, which told us to go to the Nexus. Whoa, Jupiter. Whoa, I've never seen that before. Jupiter. Not with my crate in hand. <laughs> That's, I, I almost speeded. Upon reaching the Nexus, I finally got my hands on stasis. Meanwhile, Lochi stayed on solo. Oh, like oh, Shark yeah. Boy <laughs> and your Lava Girl. Oh, God. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He did the thing! I Wow, you can throw those fast. You're the you're the scorpion to my sub-zero. The lava girl to my shark boy. I'm the ice to your tea. Unfortunately, this power didn't last, so we'll have to find more shards. Anyway, Varix gave me a weapon I couldn't use and then told us to do a patrol. I'm not joking. No. <laughs> No, please. <laughs> Do you hear it? <laughs> After completing Varix's busy work, we killed some more Fallen, and then killed a bigger Fallen. It's a riveting campaign, I know, just bear with me. Although I did end up getting a Bright Engram, which gave me a faster Sparrow. Um, probably not. Ooh, I got- Yeah! <laughs> oh, did you get- Is it a Sparrow? <laughs> yes! I put a shader on it, and it actually looks really cool. Anyway, next we have to go kill the first of Aramis's lieutenants. That, of course, being Phylax. Okay, we gotta get rid of this Wyvern. Wyverns like this are actually kind of scary. Okay, okay. I... Oh, he's gone. See, I say we're doing. Up. <laughs> I'm playing this. Oh, holy shit! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up! What are you doing? Why, why haven't you left yet? Okay. I have to keep going forward. Oh, that's a brig. There's a brig? Yeah, there's a brig. You go off. I'm gonna... Okay. Oh! Watch out for the... Okay, is the brig dead? Yeah, it's dead. I'm just gonna stand Ooh, on the... I actually remember this part being a little rough. Oh, she's big. Every mother. Oh, I think... We're... Is the water... Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go over here. I forgot. It's actually like... <laughs> careful, careful, oh, careful, shit. careful, 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 careful. Get out of here, get out of here. Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna shoot. Oh! 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 Is she gonna spawn? We're gonna have to go to the left, top left. Where, where, where? Oh, wait, there's stairs, there's stairs. Where? Right oh, oh, oh! I got a shield back here. I think we need it. There's a cap, there's two caps. Oh! Okay. Oh, back up. Sunspot. Oh, fuck. No, we're doing hammer, we're doing the hammer, we're doing yeah, the yeah, hammer, yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, hammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's in here. Oh wow. What is this? Oh, oh you can get stasis! Okay, oh, okay, okay. Wait! Oh! Oh, we need to use stasis to break her shield. There we go. Yeah, kick her ass. Nice. That's a bit stressful, but we came out on top. Phylax offered a slight challenge, but nothing we couldn't handle. My sparrow looks so cool. Oh my god. It matches. You look very cool. I attuned once more with the ziggurat, which sent us to Bray Exoscience. Bro, my sparrow is so cool! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, holy shit. Oh my god. This abandoned research facility houses another crux of darkness. This of course brings me one step closer to unlocking the full power of stasis. Oh, we got explodey shanks. We got explodey shanks. They I are hear them. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes it away. When returning to Varix, he asked us to do yet another patrol because he needs the Vex parts to repair the satellite dish. I'd be upset, but our friends are probably wondering where we went, so this is a pretty good use of our time. Anyway, after doing this, we disabled the conflux made by Praxis, the next Dark Lieutenant. As expected, Praxis wasn't too happy about this. So like adults, we found his address and went to pay him a visit. The other day, I was playing Halo Infinite. I got a sniper rifle, <laughs> and I hit the wildest clip ever. Okay, now you see those. My... 
it! <laughs> oh my god. Actually, wait, this looks kind of difficult. No, it's not. No, because I have to get it. Oh! We're okay. Hello. Oh! Oh! Back it up. This whole thing for you. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm not you. You know, I'll have to put a bunch of, like... Trip. Oh! Why did that? You good? No, I'm good. Don't, don't go in there. What are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. What if they have explodey shanks? They won't. Oh, this part. I practice. Oh, 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 he has cold snap nades. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's really kind of him, actually. Praxis. Oh, I forgot he comes in on the giant. That's a, that was a big shank. Did you watch the cold snap nades? Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, help! Oh! Okay, oh, okay, okay. Oh. okay. Yeah, there we go. Lord. Ooh, time to silence nice. this. Yikes. Get in here, get in here, we did it, we did it, come on. Praxis went down really easy, and since Critus isn't actually a part of the Beyond Light campaign, our final target is Aramis. After this, I kid you not, our next step was to talk to Shah Han, who then told us to do another patrol. I wish I could tell you this was uneventful, but it wasn't. Mm. Oh! This is what I get for mocking the Cosmodrome. No, I'm not sure what weapon I just lost. It's okay, you lost targeted action. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we do it at the same time. Oh, this one looks so cool! <laughs> oh shit, that was my last primary in this slot. The thing was one death. That's a lot of heavy ammo. Anyway, we then did a lost sector and the mandatory glassway strike. I need backup, I need backup, I need backup. I got you. This strike mostly came and went without a hitch. Deep stone crypt, but we all took 20 melatonin. <laughs> Deep stone sleep. Need you to pay oh, attention. No. Oh, no! Oh, this is good, because Dex can suffer for us. And we okay. don't. Oh, you just disappeared. We, we disappeared. all just fucking fall asleep at 10. <laughs> Bro thinks he noble six. Oh god, I want to see this. <laughs> Get him, Dex. Anyway, we finished the strike, found a penguin, and communed once again with the darkness. <laughs> There's exploding <laughs> dudes. <laughs> You're kind of a thick. Yeah, I know, but I also have stasis. You no, know, I don't go crazy enough when I have stasis on. I gotta go crazier. You just, you watch me whip. Oh! God damn it! You're gonna be so pissed at me when you see that footage. I got this. Alright, what am I getting rid of? Last man standing. I'm a little pissed that all of the deaths so far have been me being an idiot. Oh, we have to regroup with Varix. Varix, can you take away his stasis? The skiff is prepared. Eric's just like inhaled so deeply into the mic. He was like, <laughs> the skiff. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a sabotage. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Nearing Aramis, we took down a sizable squadron of Fallen, which was pretty dangerous, but we made it out okay. Buddy. It's like releasing a fish back into the wild. Whoa. This brings us to our final mission, the Kell of Darkness. Should we both put on tractor cannon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knowing me, like, a cartoon anvil will fall out of the sky and we'll both <laughs> lose tractor cannon. The two of us both put on tractor cannon and set out to find Aramis. Tractor cannon's little uh, graphic is kind of crazy. <laughs> we are going back to the bridge. Okay. I'm watching. The Vex also wanted to find Aramis, but in Destiny, the enemy of my enemy is an inconvenience. If we're gonna get off this rock, we need stasis and a working method of communication. And Aramis has made it clear that she won't let stasis go without a fight. You're still rocking solar, right? What? First oh. strike. Be the bullet. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Here we go. Nope. Aramis. I don't think this is gonna work. It better. Without that dish, no one's gonna know we're here. These machines are old. They've also been frozen since the collapse. This is golden age technology, alright? It'll work. Golden age? This shit is ancient! Imminent phone contact! Damn it! Okay, we need to go hold them off. Stecky, can you- Yeah, I know. You keep them out, and I'll do my best to resurrect this fossil. Come to me, Han! 
Remember, not even one gets passed. They get into that room and it's over. Got it. I will tear the darkness out from inside you! Yeah, well, might be a bit harder than you think. to Europa. I'm Ruby. How can I help you? Um, hi. You're not a person by any chance, are you? No. I'm the artificial intelligence responsible for the Europan colony, but I can forward you to our communications team. No thanks. They're dead. For sure. Why would you assume that? Right. Golden Age. Okay, so basically- I should go down there. No! We should stay here. Defend the Europan. There's too many for him to take on alone. And if he dies, we're gonna have a problem. Are you gonna do a thing? You better just go. Toast Rider! Yeah, Toast, Toast Rider. Could you do this the whole time? You're, You're welcome, welcome for not dying. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. Because I'm all bullshit right in the club. Point? 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 It's been a really long time. Then it's imperative that we re-establish communication with the Vanguard. Alright, glad we're on the same page. Send a message to the helm saying, It's time to meet your end. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, you stay here. I gotta go help Stecky. Alright. You, you, you really don't have to do this. Oh, good heavens! Get away from my ghost. This power was meant for me and the elixir, not scum like you. Then take it. Oh my god, are we about to kill her? Yeah. This is it, this is it. You are bullying her, oh my god. Oh no wait, she's immune, she's immune. next incoming transmission from the helm just win i can't see uh, those, the yeah, those all your spaces <laughs> <laughs> wow that was really really fast and there you have it <laughs> <laughs> After a really short fight, like 45 seconds short, Aramis was no more. Well, at least for now. You know, just for fun. Wait, 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 chill, 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 chill. Axolochi! Checked a kid in. <laughs> There's still something else I want to show you, but before we wrap things up, I've been working on this project in secret since June, and there were plenty of times where I thought this video just wasn't gonna happen. But I pulled through, I'm extremely proud of how it turned out, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, this year for Christmas, I'll be doing a Destiny Christmas calendar, where I stream a different Destiny challenge or task every day for 25 days. This will all be turned into one big video, so of course don't feel pressured to watch the streams if you don't want to. <sighs> 
All right, I'll stop talking for now. My throat is killing me. Thank you so much for watching, and feel free to drop a like if you want to see the story continue. Until next time. And we're sure they're not dead. There they are. Oh, it's good to see you guys. Where'd you guys go? Oh, well, that's a long story. Yeah, you guys might want to sit down for this one. Wake up to the money like high Gamard and keep three hoes on me. Now I think I'm Marvin. Really only counted up if it's blue like Corbin. Don't hit my line if you know I'm recording. Cause I got these hits, but now she wanna have my kids. But this ain't Murray Povich. I heard your last man shot that list. You know I'm popping off. I guess a lot of guap. She trying to take it off like it's Mardi Gras. They all love me. Yeah, like I'm so sub. Making money like Joe average Joe I kind of think it's funny that you're all still